been learning a bit about what has been going on with the war in Ukraine. And there's many different analysis and it's all a very conceptual understanding of what is going on. So what would be a transformative way of understanding what's going on and a transformative solution to the atrocities that are happening right now? Everyone that's speaking about this war is always qualifying everything they say by declaring that they are horrified by these atrocities. That's a noble sentiment. But we do have to see and realize that there are lots of wars going on at the moment in different parts of the world. And atrocities are happening everywhere. So we can only look at what's happening in Ukraine now as another example of human human stupidity from all sides of course everyone wants it to stop there's no question about that but these atrocities and these wars will not stop unless there is a paradigm shift bottom up it's a movement from the conceptual into the transformative that has to happen if these atrocities have to not perhaps come to an end, but reduce significantly. The thing is that finally it's all about money. It's not about ideals. It's not about visions of great quality. It's about money. And money is something that has been created by humans. It's one of the big aberrations that have appeared in human life. Animals don't have money. Plants don't have money. They don't use it. They didn't create it. Humans created it. And it was created by the conceptual ability of humans. That conceptual ability has now become a disability. Humans think too much, and they know too little. So, when that collective transformation happens from being led by the conceptual to being led by the transformative, that's when you'll see a very significant change in all of this. And the change in all of that happens because the less conceptual a human being is, the less they will depend on money because the more their transformative abilities will create possibilities where they don't have to be greedy about money they don't have to fight for money because they have transformative abilities, occult abilities what we consider the occult abilities so what I'm saying now is not it's not new age hoo-ha-ha -ha. it's very, very concrete stuff that is happening and is increasing in its pace but not fast enough for us not to have to see what we are seeing in Ukraine, in Syria, in many parts of Africa in, in every continent actually if one is a spiritual seeker and a spiritual finder one has to be able to step back and see what's going on for what it is these are all humans fighting each other to stand somewhere and declare that Putin is a dictator and, and Biden is a savior and, or, or the other way around, that Biden is a dictator and Putin is a savior is just conceptual gymnastics what to do about all this? to start with each person who has to deal with these horrors on their screens in their ears and in their eyes every day has to first protect their own selves their, their own bodies from the assault of all of that information which actually is simply feeding a vampirical need to tune into human suffering one has to keep it at a minimum one needs to be informed, I understand that keep it at a minimum first deal with the suffering that's happening in yourself that is what a spiritual 
seeker does. They first find the truth within themselves because that strengthens them. And when it strengthens them, they can handle that assault. That assault on the physical because it brings up fear. That assault on the emotional because it brings up sadness and anger. That assault on the conceptual because it makes you think thoughts you shouldn't be thinking. It makes you so confused that you don't know what you should be thinking. You don't know what to believe. You don't know what to think. You don't know what not to think. These are assaults that are happening on your system. So as a spiritual seeker, you have to first protect your system because if you protect your system, you can also protect the one next to you. So that's where you start. On a more conceptual level, what is to be done about all this? Greed has to be reduced in human beings, it's not going to happen so easily. That entire complex structure, the weapons manufacturers, the, the, the tech giants, that entire industrial thrust, they're not going to just stop doing what they're doing, because they want to make money. So the only way one can actually do something concrete is to try and consume as little as possible of what they produce. That's one thing one can concretely do. One can pray. One can pray for those conflicts to come to an end. Prayer is very powerful. And on a surely geopolitical level, one has to ensure that they don't make each other too angry, so that one or the other starts to get really destructive. They're all, they're all walking this very thin line, because they want to be able to produce and sell their weapons, all, all the parties involved. They want to be able to play with the power of, of their oil. They want to get wealthier, but they also know that they have to be careful not to push things too hard so that one or the other presses the button. And they all believe that no one's going to do it, but it's also possible that somebody does it. It's been done before. The Americans now have an especially important role because they are still the biggest power, and so they have to also act with the responsibility that comes with that kind of power. So perhaps there'll be a sudden change, which will result in some sense coming into this entire thing. There's also that possibility of human beings retracting from these huge nation-states, into smaller self-governing communities, which can support each other, have larger infrastructural support systems where required, but be essentially living in smaller communities and being more independent, rather than these huge nation-states that are actually only a couple of hundred years old. So those are the various aspects with which one can look at all this. And there are arguments for both sides. Putin has his argument, Biden has his argument, Zelensky has his argument. But as a spiritual seeker, it is not incumbent on you to suggest any solution, but to protect yourself, your system to start with, from any kind of assault. That's the first thing. To go inward and strengthen, and then let that strength move outward, so that you can actually be a source of strength in a world which is depleted and getting more so.